you can download freely this practical notebook from my website experiment 6 part a in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment good morning students today we will perform experiment number 6 the topic of the experiment is to find the value of acceleration due to gravity by oscillating mass wave system for calculating the value of acceleration we will use the apparatus like the spring slotted weights with hand okay you can easily see the this is the helical spring in which we will produce the extension these are the slotted weight this is the first one including hanger this will carry 50 g weight and these are the extra weights each of carry 50 g and this is the scale on which we will take the reading or extension in the spring let's start the performance this is the helical spring and this is the weight and this hanger including this pointer weigh 50 grams i will add more 50 grams in this now this becomes totally 100 grams and we easily observe that the extension in spring is produced either it is slightly but because it directly proportional to the force applied now we will observe the initial reading of the pointer on the uh, meter rod and put it on the table which is 1.90 now we will add one more weight this weight also carry 50 grams and extension in the spring easily observed so we will load the this extension as well as reading on <coughs> meter rod with this pointer now the total weight of the pointer is 100 gram the initial position of the pointer was 1.90 and after applying weight of 100 grams in the spring the extension was produced which is 2.35 cm and in units we have to be so careful because we have to take all the readings in the same system of unit if we are taking the weights in grams then extension must be in centimeters this is the oscillating mass spring system so this spring can be oscillate on its axis and we will note down the time for 20 vibrations you have to slightly disturb the weight and spring start to oscillate on its axis and you can take the reading for 20 vibrations and with the same movement you have to start the stopwatch so before starting the stopwatch we will check the oscillations of the spring by moving this weight slightly and where the oscillations will start smoothly then we will note down the reading from the stopwatch so first of all we have to check the oscillations this pointer can should not touch the meter rod and this spring is free to move about it axis so you should be so careful about these two things by the oscillation start move smoothly we will start the start the stopwatch from zero value and note down the value for 20 vibrations after 20 vibration we will stop the stopwatch and note down the value what we observe from the performance that time for first time to the vibration is 6.1 second we will, and we have repeat the same value with the same weights and second time we observe 6.2 second and we have take the uh, we have taken the average of these two values which is 6.15 and as this value is for 20 vibration so we have to calculate the time period which will be observed by divided uh, time divided by 20 and this time we have given will be was the time of one vibration which is 0.3075 we will take the square of this time period and we have to according to our statement of the experiment we have to calculate the value of g so according to mass oscillation oscillation of mass spring system the formula of gravitational acceleration is this in which we have to put down the value of extension of the spring which we have already observed in the start of the experiment and substitute the value of time period of the oscillating mass spring system and calculation will give us the value of gravitational acceleration which is 975.57 cm per second square similarly by performing the same procedure we will take two more values by changing the weights in the slotting hanger and take the time period of the same procedure calculate the value of g after that after completing three 
values, we will take the mean value of G, which will be in the centimeter per second square. Now the actual value of the G is 980 centimeter per second square, and calculated by the performance, the value of G is this. After completing our procedure, we will take the percentage error. What are the mishaps that come from the operators? First one is this: the pointer should not touch the meter rod. This is the very wrong procedure to tempt the performance. You should not hang the hanger in this way. Second one is this: the pointer should not be much far away from the pointer that you cannot observe the reading properly. Thirdly, the spring must be free to move. So you should check the rust and dust in this spring, and you should you have to clean this spring. Last one that your meter rod is must be in front of you that you can easily observe the reading and it must be free of dust and dust and readings are too much clear on the spring uh, meter rod. The last and most important precaution about this experiment that how you can use the stopwatch. First of all, you have to check how we can use this. This is the reset button. This is the uh, start and stop button. So first of all, you have to reset your stopwatch. And it will show the reading 00, 00 on its display. After that, you can check its start button. It starts counting the seconds. And when your oscillations are complete, you can easily stop this by using stop button. And after taking one reading, you can also reset it on its zero value. You can take this objective physics practicals from Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazar Lahore, or you can download directly from my website your readings may be different from these readings check these readings as a reference thank you